Hi everyone. Dao is the generic name of a number of traditional sailing vessels with one or more masts with sati or sometimes latin sails, used in the Red Sea and Indian Ocean region. Typically sporting long thin hulls, Dao's are trading vessels primarily used to carry heavy items, such as fruit, fresh water, or other heavy merchandise, along the coasts of Eastern Arabia, East Africa, Yemen and coastal South Asia, Pakistan, India, Bangladesh. Larger Dows have crews of approximately 30, smaller ones typically around 12. The exact origins of the Dow are lost to history. Some claim that the Sambuk, a type of Dow, may be derived from the Portuguese caravel. The Dow was the ship of trade used by the Swahili. It was a Dao that transported a giraffe to Chinese Emperor Yongli's court, in 1414. Ships that are similar to the Dao are mentioned or described in the 1001 Nights including various ports where they harbored. The Dao is also associated with the pearl trade. The Yemeni Hadrami people, as well as Omanis, for centuries came to Baypur, in Kerala, India for their Dao's. This was because of the good timber in the Kerala forests, the availability of good coil rope, and the skilled shipwrights. In former times, the sheathing planks of a Dao's hull were held together by coconut rope. Baypur Dao's are known as Aru in Malayalam, the local language of Kerala. Settlers from Yemen, known as Baramis, or Daramis which could be derived from the word hard armies are still active in making Urus in Kerala. Dows were extensively used for the Indian Ocean slave trade, which the Royal Navy attempted to suppress. In the 1920s, British writers identified Al Hadada as the centre for Dow building. Those built in Al Hadada were smaller in size, and used for travel along the coasts. They were constructed of acacia found in Yemen. They are distinguishable for their smaller triangular sails on movable bases to harvest the irregular winds of the Red Sea. Captain Alan Villiers, 1903-1982, documented the days of sailing trade in the Indian Ocean by sailing on dows between 1938 and 1939 taking numerous photographs and publishing books on the subject of dow navigation. Even to the present day, dows make commercial journeys between the Persian Gulf and East Africa using sails as their only means of propulsion. Their cargo is mostly dates and fish to East Africa and mangrove timber to the lands in the Persian Gulf. They often sail south with the monsoon in winter or early spring, and back again to Arabia in late spring or early summer. For celestial navigation, Dao sailors have traditionally used the Kamal, an observation device that determines latitude by finding the angle of the pole star above the horizon. Types of Dao Bogla, dash from the Arabic language word for mule. A heavy ship, the traditional deep sea dao. Barkara or bagara, dash from the Arabic word for cow. Old type of small dao similar to the batil. Barija, small dao. Batil, dash featured long stems topped by large, club shaped stem heads. Bodon, a smaller vessel requiring a shallow draft. Boom, or dangy, a large sized dow with a stern that is tapering in shape and a more symmetrical overall structure. The Arab boom has a very high prow, which is trimmed in the Indian version. Ganja, or kotia, a large vessel, similar to the bogla, with a curved stem and a sloping, ornately carved transom. Jahatsi or jihazi, a fishing or trading dow with a broad hull similar to the jellybut common in Lamu Island and the coast of Oman. It is also used in Bahrain for the pearl industry. The word comes from Jahaz, a Persian word for ship. Jalabut or Jalbut. A small to medium sized dhow. It is the modern version of the Shwai with a shorter prow stem piece. Most Jalabuts are fitted with engines. Patama, a type of Indian dhow. Sambuk or Sambuk, dash the largest type of dao seen in the Persian Gulf today. It has a characteristic keel design, with a sharp curve right below the top of the prow. It has been one of the most successful dows in history. 
The word is cognate with the Greek sigma alpha mu beta kappa eta sambuk, ultimately from Middle Persian sambuk. Y. Medium sized dao. Formerly the most common dao in the Persian Gulf used for fishing as well as for coastal trade. Zaruk, small dao, slightly larger than a barija. Doni, Maldivian traditional multi purpose sail vessel. The term dhow is sometimes also applied to certain smaller latin sail rigged boats traditionally used in the Red Sea, the Eastern Mediterranean and the Persian Gulf area, as well as in the Indian Ocean from Madagascar to the Bay of Bengal. These include the felukas used in Egypt, Sudan, and Iraq, and the doni used in the Maldives, as well as the tronchi, grab and galafa. All these vessels have common elements with the dhow. Thanks for watching.